fall into three categories, bears, bulls, and slaves. What exactly does this mean? We hope you enjoyed our course. For more information, visit our website. structure of companies and their different departments. Do you know what each of the departments is responsible for? In this lesson you will hear a lecture outlining three different company structures. Listen to words and phrases that are used in this text, together with their Polish translations, then listen to the recording. To produce. Produkować, wytwarzać. Management structure. Struktura zarządzania. Hybrid. Mieszany. Entrepreneurial sole trader. Jednoosobowa działalność gospodarcza. Startup company. Firma zaczynająca działalność. Flexible. Elastyczny. Responsive. Szybko reagujący. To be on an equal footing. Być w takiej samej sytuacji. Flow of information. Przepływ informacji. Nucleus. Jądro. Offshoot. Odgałęzienie. To tackle something. Radzić sobie z czymś. Blend. Mieszanka. Board of directors. Zarząd. Chairman of the board. Prezes zarządu. Market policy. Polityka rynkowa. Executive. Wykonawczy. To benefit something. Przynosić korzyść. Expertise. Wiedza i doświadczenie. External source of control. Zewnętrzne źródło kontroli. Research and development. Badania i rozwój. Logistics. Logistyka. Purchasing department. Dział zakupów. Commodity. Towar. Vendor. Sprzedawca. Warehouse. Magazyn. Human resources. Zasoby ludzkie. To implement. Wdrażać. To meet the objectives. Osiągnąć cele. Now listen to the lecture about company structure. Listen carefully and answer the questions that follow. The organization of a company in terms of its management structure depends on its size. There are three main types of company structure. Hierarchical, flat and a hybrid structure. A flat structure is characteristic for an entrepreneurial sole trader at a startup company. In these types of companies, the owner of the firm is the manager and usually performs all managerial duties. In this case, the manager retains sole responsibility for the business, with little outside intervention. However, they also assume all responsibility for any of the debts the business may incur. This type of structure allows daily personal
personal interaction between the employees and their employer. This is the optimum structure for a small business, such as a nursing company, a retail outlet, or a taxi driver, as they are able to be both flexible and responsive in their business dealings. In these companies, all employees are on an equal footing with each other, with a manager presiding over them. However, if the aforementioned business expands, there will be more employees, and the flow of information and speed of response can become disrupted. This leads us into our next structure, hybrid structures. When broken down, these resemble a central nucleus with four or more offshoots, working autonomously to tackle different areas of the business. Hybrid structures are a blend of two traditional organizations, flat and hierarchical. Traditional hierarchical structures are based on a pyramid structure and control operating processes through job standardization. In a typical medium-sized pyramid company, there is a board of directors, which meets as often as required to discuss such issues as finance, corporate structure, long-term policies, and market policies, as well as product strategies. The board is presided over by the chairman of the board, also known as the president or chair. The people who make up the board consist of non-executive and executive directors. Non-executive directors are not full-time employees of the company and usually sit on other boards in other companies. These non-executive directors benefit the company by providing them with their expertise and experience, as well as providing an external source of control for the company, as these people are not dependent on the management board. Executive directors are employed full-time by the company and are vice presidents or directors of departments. Such departments may include research and development, 